Drumstick. Welcome. Yeah, we're. Yeah, it, it, our well, scenery's changed. The scenery's changed a little bit. We're a little bit late. We uh, have so many guests today. I think we're a little backed up in makeup, aren't we? Boys, come here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little backed up in makeup. Hey, I just noticed this thing right here. Dude, look at this thing. This could be awesome for like when people call in and make comments. Yeah. That that could that, that, that could would like put the uh, bat phone to shame. That you know? would. Unfortunately, it's probably like yeah, you plug it into your car. So, <laughs> oh, do you really have? <laughs> Here we go. I can do it. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that working. See if we can point. outdo the bat phone. So, um. Is there somebody there calling? Get a load of that. Yeah. Call number one. Call number Very one. Good. All right. So, um, actually, we do have a call. My wife uh, piped in. She says, I have a diamond ring from my first marriage I want to pawn. What should I consider? Well, um, by the way, that's not the diamond ring from, like, I'm the second marriage. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if she's selling your ring. That's an issue. With that. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 qualify that. That's the first diamond ring from the from the uh, from the first marriage. Yeah. Uh, answer to your question is um, you can bring it down to me. Even if you don't, even if you don't want to sell it to me, or even if you don't intend to sell it to me, you could bring it down to me, and you could uh, at least I can give you an idea how much it's worth to sell, and uh, maybe give you some good pointers on how to how to sell it, maximize your dollar out of it, and then if you want to sell it to me, great. I'd be be more than happy to do that. So. Good deal. Good deal. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Cheryl. And if you weren't uh, at work, we would have you um, actually show up with the the ring. Yeah. I've got I've got a shout out. It's it's Cheryl's birthday week, and we got to work on that during the show today. Okay. Um. But I I got to tell this amazing story about my wife. Okay. Go for it. Okay. So I'm gonna brag all over my fabulous wife. I went out, and we we had been dating for almost a year. We knew we were getting married. We had talked a lot about it. We just weren't engaged. I went to to um, Jared's. He he went to Jared's. And um, is that a plug for them? Yeah, apparently. So I checks don't. in the mail, right, checks Jared's? Checks in the mail, yeah. Um, I went in there, and I picked out a ring that I really liked for her. And then I brought her back in to show her the ring I had picked out. Now let me let me let me. Uh, Let's back up here. This is before you knew you could buy it from a pawn shop, right? Oh, long before. Okay. All right. Yeah. There we go. Long before. <laughs> so um, I, I bring her in. I don't think a pawn shop, once I finish telling this story, you could, you'll you be able to see why a pawn shop wouldn't have been able to help me. Okay. So I, I bring her in, and the, the diamond I had picked out was a pretty decent-sized diamond. And I think it was close to a carrot, but not quite there. And so... Um, I, I bring her in, and she takes it, and she puts it on her finger, and uh, she looks at it. She goes, that ring is beautiful, but, and the eyes of the salesman get huge. She's like, like oh, I got a set. Oh, she, she's going to ask for a bigger one. She goes, do you have the same setting, only smaller? Oh. Uh, he Instant, instant deflate, deflating it. Um, yeah, except yeah. I'm like, what? So she tries on the next size down, and then she goes, oh, gorgeous, but... Still too big. Yeah. That's <laughs> my wife. That's my wife. Yeah, I'm bragging. Cheryl, we love you. She, she love is you. awesome. We love you. So there you go. Simple. Simple. All right. Hey, we're we're are uh, we? we are uh, we are at a good friend of mine's pawn shop today, um, City Pawn and Jewelers, and uh, we will be talking to him a little bit later, and uh, I'm sure he'll have a lot to say. I think he's gonna have a lot to say about all this equipment that I set up. Oh, here. he already has. Yeah, yeah, he has, he's already piped in about that. So <laughs> he's like, "Can't you do this wirelessly? I got wires all over the floor, and yeah." But before that, we do have some guests. Um, if we could, you're get, holding one of them. I'm holding one of them. You got a pirate guest yeah. who's not very happy oh, because no. she's pirate looking. Yeah, there we right. go. That's arr, better. Huh? Arr, matey. Arr, matey. All right, come on on over over here, peoples. Uh, see if we can round up round up the brood over here. Peoples. <laughs> this is my wife, Lindsay. This is Noel. This is Lila, and they just turned seven months old. And come they, here, buddy. Let's hold you up. You're a little short. 
Come here, bud. Your parents' hands are like all full of stuff. Yeah, come here, bud. Yeah. Okay. So these are, the, these are the uh, twins number two, and then the twins number one are over here. C come jump right here. Right here. Come jump right here. Come jump here. over here, Bubba. Can you jump right there? Jump. Jump, jump. Can I come over here, son? All right. Can you... S there you go. Look up Look up there. Look up there and jump, jump. Jump, jump. All right. Okay, maybe not. This is Finley. This is Tristan. And they turned three in December. And so they are the, the <gasps> twins number one. So, woo! Everybody's happy you turned three. Hey, hey, I thought it would be cool to bring the bring my family oh, wow. on, and especially uh, my wife, to talk to her about like what she does every day, her job, and uh, a lot of people. Okay, let's not pull that cable, or anything else for that matter. Man, they, keeping these guys rounded up is something else. I'm telling you, there is so much stuff in this pawn shop. To touch. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff in in here. Um, anyway, so uh, now do you want me to pick you up? There yeah. you go. Okay, here, let's pick you up this way. Look at the stud. There's Wave. Justin. Okay, maybe not yet. He's a little bashful. The other one's not. So, anyway, I look. Maybe we'd like to talk to Lindsay a little bit about what she does every day. A lot of people ask, "What do you do?" And and uh, she definitely works harder than I do. And, uh, so, Lindsay, what? To go, take us through a day. Take us through a day in the life of of taking care of two sets of twins. Oh, wow. What do I say? First thing in the morning um, to tonight. I mean, I, you know, I get home every night. I know you're really tired, and so yes. I know you've been through the ringer. Yes. So what, what, is it, what is a day like, an average day like? Well, I, uh, you take the first morning shift, so I can't take credit for that. Yeah, that doesn't count. So. Um, <laughs> well, we, uh, we usually have a, a snack right after Daddy leaves for work, even though they just ate five minutes before that. Um, and then I usually uh, have to feed the girls. And then we try to do naps for the girls, and the boys. Uh, sometimes they watch a show to try to keep them a little bit. Show what contained. show do you guys watch? What, what's your favorite show you guys watch? <laughs> Sheriff Cali. Sher Sheriff Cali. And we've watched every single episode a zillion Maybe times of Mickey Mouse Club. So. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse Club. All right. Yeah. So yeah. we, uh, I feed the girls and get them dressed, like and the Diz. boys watch a show. I like Mickey of Diz. Yeah, you like Mickey of Diz. That's the favorite one. Yes. Mickey of Diz. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a takeoff on uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, they just can't Wizard say they Diz. can't say Oz, so they call it Diz. Gotcha. <laughs> you would know that if you had this little kids, boy. man. I've watched it a thousand times. Mine are a little oh. older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't touch that, please. All right, go ahead. Um, so if it's a nice day, I really try to get the boys to go outside. Um, it reduces the chaos a little bit for me. And it has been nicer lately, so they've yeah. been able to go outside. Yeah, and that's, that's nice because they get really bored. You know, we can't. It's kind of hard for me to go and and take them places with you know, two two babies. So four kids on my own is not really feasible. So. We we're mostly home all day long. So I just gotta I just gotta say, getting these boys dressed, you'd think that you'd think that they would get their the odds would be that they would get their shoes on the right foot at least fifty percent of the time. That is not the case. They get their shoes on or on the wrong foot almost a hundred percent of the time. Oh I don't know how that I don't know how that, that is. I don't you know, know how that works. My daughter who's six going on seven will get her shoes on the wrong feet and I'll say something to her. Mm -hmm. And she'll just go, nah, I'm okay. And then, like, an hour and a half later, she's like, my feet hurt. <laughs> yeah, really? I wonder Even why. that old, so I can look forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, got, you got a while. All right, go ahead, Lindsay. Uh, well, yeah. We're, we're at about lunchtime. Oh, lunchtime. Yeah, so the, so the boys have a little lunch, and they pretty much every day want to have the same thing. So... I try to have to convince him to change it up a little Dude, bit. Dude, he's a natural. Yeah, he's over there playing this yeah, music. Yeah, he's, he's yeah getting into everything. And uh, I, ho I, I hope that the girls' feeding doesn't coincide with the boys' feeding because that gets a little bit tough if it does. Um, so, you know, my day's pretty boring. I mean, I just... I just it's anything it. but boring, Well, Lindsay. I know, but it's like it's Groundhog Day. I, mean, I do the, the same thing every single day. But as you can see, just, just from right here, trying to keep these... These people. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> that you got to pan the camera. I do have to pan the camera. Hang on. Uh, this is this is, this is the solution that I think you ought to probably 
probably uh, take up here, Lindsay. This is this is what. What do you think of that, buddy? Is that gonna work for a while? Yeah. So uh, I've got a plethora of this stuff in my store too. So there we go. Shrink wrap them. Yep. No, yeah, they're quiet. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> You're top heavy, buddy. All right. Get You're both are shrink wrapped. You stay where you are. Now keep so. your hands to your side. I don't mind anyway, oh, any. Anything. <laughs> right, anyway, so I the girl I try to get the girls to have at least two good naps a day, which by good naps I mean a couple hours. But that doesn't always work out. So um, anyway, the girls just kind of I kind of move them around, try to give them a little bit of activity. They they get in their exercisers or. They play with toys, or they watch Baby Einstein, or. So is there okay, is there yeah. is there any downtime? Do you have any downtime? Um, if well, after the boys have lunch, I, I, I they go use the potty, and then we go to have a nap. And lately, that takes um, with Tristan anywhere from an hour to two hours. He doesn't like to go to he sleep. He doesn't like to go to sleep. So, so. we uh, we do battle to get him to finally. Relent and take a nap, but if, if that works out and all the stars align, sometimes I have four sleeping children at the same time, but not very often. So if I'm lucky, I get to have lunch in peace, and um, that's about all I can hope for. Yesterday I got to lay down for about 20 minutes, and that was that was heaven, and that doesn't happen hardly ever. But no, I don't. TV watching, Charlie. No. Well, no. I, I mean, I have I have the TV on. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. But I have the TV don't, don't, on just to... Don't, don't cry ignorance, okay? With the soap opera thing. I do, I do watch okay, Mindless right, TV, but that's at go. night after the kids go to bed. You TV <laughs> Yeah. But I, I have the TV on for background noise and to hear some adult, you know, talking, because I get nothing like that all day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, we're done over there. Over okay, here. I'm going to probably owe Bill several thousand dollars before, uh, before we're yeah. here. Don't so, touch. Yeah. This is yeah. going to be an expensive show. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, um, so I, I basically just try to, try to corral. The boys are really pretty tough right now, and they're three and into everything, as you can hear in the background. And, yeah, they've been playing music um, and breaking guitars. You know, taking care of the baby girls is relatively easy. Com in comparison, but you know, four kids ages three and under, it keeps me keeps me pretty busy every day. And by the time Ryan gets home at night, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> That's our new sound. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to snag that from you, Bill. <laughs> we have a comment here. Yeah. From Rhonda Green. All right. Holy cow! This is quite the hashtag. Mama under. Estimating her awesome. Oh, Rhonda, I agree with you. <laughs> Lindsay, you're Thank awesome. You. Yeah, I agree. Hashtag with you. Mama underestimating her awesome. Yeah, she's much too humble about it. I, 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 I'll agree with you there, Rhonda. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't know about that. I just, you know, you learn to adapt, and isn't it, isn't it like, um, you know, we've talked several times about how it's, it's all. A matter of perspective, as far as how 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 uh, hard it is. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a new mother with one child that's not that wasn't used to it was used to being by herself or or just with her husband. They have a child, and it could be to them the most difficult thing in the world. Absolutely. Well, when the boys were were new, I I had help for the first four months from my my family mostly, and I don't think I could have managed it on my own. And when, when at four months old, I was on my own, and I was terrified, and I it was really hard for me. And um, but now I think to myself some days, man, if I just had these baby girls, that's easy. You know, that's it's. Uh, you could go to the store. Yeah, you could go could do, do whatever you wanted. Now, is it is it difficult to? Uh, it, how difficult is it to to pack everybody up and go places? I mean, you, know, you have a van. If, yeah, with and, four car seats in it, so yeah. there's barely room for anybody else to sit, right? <laughs> You're squeezing um, it. <laughs> so um, how difficult is it to go somewhere? You know, at first it was. I'm acting like I don't know. Yeah, but. you know, but <laughs> if, at first it was, it was. Oh my gosh, felt like it took forever. But again, you learn to, you get, you get faster at things, and I can get everybody loaded up, diaper bag and all, in about 15 minutes. I'd say, and sometimes we get in the car and just go for a little drive just to get out of the house because the boys. Boys get, you know, they get stir crazy, especially in the winter. We have such long winters here, so we just go for a little. They call it an outing. So, and sometimes I'm, I'm uh, guilty of taking them to good old McDonald's for a happy meal, and we did that. That's yesterday. okay. 
That's no. okay. That's okay. <laughs> we can do that. So, well, um, uh, is there another? Is there another? Yes, comment? yes, okay. yes. Another comment. We got to figure out how we can switch this thing on and off though. Yeah. If we're gonna steal it. From yeah. Them. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, my wife says I want to meet Lindsay, so she's looking for an IRL here. Okay. I've been trying to set this up for a while. You know what? It's not because we're not, uh, you know, willing to go. It's, it's oh, you just don't like it's me. No, I love you, Dennis. Okay, I love you. <laughs> I love the man in the hat. Thanks, okay. man. <laughs> um, it's logistics. It's all about logistics and trying to get babies. The difficult stuff. thing is, all the young women, the the girls you know, are busy on Wednesday nights, and that's the night I'm free. Yeah. And yeah. so everyone in your neighborhood can't yeah. babysit. Well, the, yeah. the other thing is, is, is you've got, uh, you know, four kids to one, unless they're in bed, four kids to one girl is a little rough. I mean, it's rough on two, yeah. two adults. And so, I mean, we do have a, we do have a, a, a nanny of sorts that comes in and does, you know, fills She helps in. me a few days a week in the afternoons for a yeah. couple hours. So. We, you know what, Cheryl, we will do that. I promise you we'll get that put together. Hey, so. Cheryl, we, we could probably get Rachel and Hannah to do something, just yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah, I know my kids aren't watching because they hate Google Plus because that's where Dad is. Well, Lindsay, de you know to uh, to uh, parrot what Rhonda says, you definitely underestimate your awesomeness. You uh, definitely work harder than me, and um, I don't know props to Lindsay. So my wife. So. Before we finish with Lindsay. Lindsay needs to help out with a project. And by the way, Rhonda Green, I sent you a private message just a minute ago that has to do with the same thing. But Lindsay, can you read for me that? And when you're done, okay. wish my wife Cheryl a happy birthday. Okay. In a different light, all the things I detest, I will almost like. There you go. <laughs> and I wish you a very happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, for honey, for coming on today. Thank you, kids. And I, I tell you what, um, we're gonna get Bill on here right now. Uh, why don't you um, Why don't you hand Take over the baby him. to Bill and okay. get these kids in the car, okay. and then we can we can switch okay. off. So. And thank you for having me today. I'm thank not sure you. it was worth it for Bill and because of all the craziness. We gotta <laughs> talk because Ryan's told me about this other idea for a show. Yeah. Ooh, the world is gonna love it if we yeah. start doing something. It's a you, great it idea. It is a great yeah. idea, a idea, idea she's got for a show. So. so something that she is very passionate about, and uh, we'll we'll reveal that at another time. But as soon as we get some of the kinks and details worked out. So. Yes, and I think the Jerky Girls would love it too. Uh, uh, who who wouldn't love it? I mean, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could become an honorary member of the Jerky Girls. I think you'd have to talk to Cheryl and Rhonda and Stephanie Sims, and they're in charge of the Jerky Girls. Nice. Yeah. Is that an entourage? Yes, it is. Sweet. Kirk has his own little... You are a rock star, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's... Okay, okay Bill! Right. Come on out over, dude. Where are you? Oh, I got the cover right here. Shell okay. shock. Okay. As we're standing and that, here... And all these Bill, you're holding the baby, bud. So, Ryan, yes. can you read your little line right there while we're waiting for Bill? So, up to from here until your wife's name. Okay. So, with every with every thought and with every breath, someone who help someone who will help me see things. Did I read that? Right? Yeah. You want to read it again? Yes, I can. I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> with every thought and with every breath, someone who will help me see things. There you go. Yes, watch for this project. It's coming slowly together. Maybe it should be a good. Oh, it's official. Rhonda's let you in. You are a jer jerky girl, Lindsay. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Wow. And, and Cheryl has totally volunteered Hannah and Rachel. <laughs> Man, no kidding. So, come on over, Bill. Well, come on over, Bill. At least your mother didn't dress you the same. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't do that, huh? All right, so we are today. Like I said, today we are at uh, City Pawn and Jewelers. It's in the same city that I'm in, and as a crow flies a few miles away, um, to talk to my good friend Bill, who is actually uh, a mentor of mine in this business. He's the guy that taught me this business. One of the guys that taught me this business, 
And I've been trying to get Bill to come on this program forever, but he called my program cheesy. A little bit. <laughs> hey! But that's my good. fault. That's it's good. Oh, cheesy. Cheesy. Cheesy's good. Oh, why don't you guys go out and get in the car? Okay? Dude, right let now. Let me have that club, buddy. So. You can have the ball. Yeah. Just don't put it in your father's. Anyway, so ball. to get him to come on, we came up to his store so it would be painless as possible. And, uh. Now, this is like, uh. And that's how bad air our raid, show is. Air raid, air raid. <laughs> the live audience is falling. <laughs> Please don't tune out. No, no. He wants to get out. <laughs> anyway, um, so if we can hear, right? Is that like maxing out the? Uh, yeah, we're we're getting knuckles. No, <laughs> they they are definitely going. pinging it. Look. Yeah. Yeah, it's maxing out the. Uh, that's not the sound. Well, he's got some lungs on him, man. Sorry about that, guys. It'll only last a while. Hopefully. We hope. So, today's show is brought to us by water, again. Water. Refreshing, cool yes. water. I wish I had some right now. So. Do you need some? <laughs> Good. Anyway, so, Bill. Um, yes, sir. How long have you been in this business? I've been in this business since, geez, 98. 98? Is 98 is when you even try to open that yeah. store? Is it, uh, that's, that's, uh, I thought it was 97, but it was Maybe it was 97. Um, anyway, how did you get started in this? You've owned several businesses before. The way that we got started in the pawn business, when we were in high school, had a friend whose father had a pawn shop. Okay. And we spent a lot of time down there, of course, not while being in school, out of school. You skipped school? No, 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 we never did okay, that. Okay, so... That never happened, ever. <laughs> no, and then my partner Troy, he was involved with in the jewelry business, and you were yeah involved yeah, in the jewelry I was, business. I worked with, with Troy. Troy's right, the one that right. actually is 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 a mutual friend of ours that that uh um it was in this was in the same business. He's the one that got me into the business. Right. So yeah. So yeah. So one day we were talking and had a. She's giving you dirty yeah, laugh. Yeah, she is. Like, well, you <laughs> we had talked about it several times, opening a shop, and everything just came together one time, and we just decided to do it. So uh, talk to them. So to them? yeah, Bye. Ryan's not that important. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> um, so you guys start. I mean, you guys grab some stuff out of your garage. Open the doors, and you actually opened yeah. up in Sandy. That yeah, we, we we did open up in Sandy. We actually opened on April Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah, April first. Kind of went in under the skirts of Sandy, not knowing we were going in, and we had problems from day one with Sandy. Is it? And it's a city. It's a city here in the Salt Lake Valley that uh, that doesn't really. I don't think they have a pawn shop there anymore. So they got no pawn shop. Yeah, got you, gave you all sorts of. I don't even think they have any check cashing. No, I don't think so either. So, um, and so you you were in that business, and then eventually you broke off and opened your own store. Opened my own. And uh, and you've been up here for how long? Nine years. Nine years. I yeah. can't believe it's been that long. Well, you've uh, been at your store for five years. Five years. Five yeah, years. it's been five years. So. Time flies. Uh, now, Bill and I, Bill and I worked at the at the same. I, I actually worked for Bill. Uh, at his previous pawn shop, and uh, we worked together for actually quite a while then. In the uh, store, yeah, and uh, good two three years. He he broke off and did his own. Came up here, and uh, he's been up here for nine years, and and it's done great. I mean, you look around his shop, and uh, Dennis was just throwing me under the bus for uh, my. <laughs> Bill's definitely been nobody, more or is no, more organized person than me. Under the bus. And. Uh, <laughs> For my shop being disorganized, you got to come down to my shop. It looks really good right now. I'll have to come check it out. Yeah. So. So who's running your shop right now? I think Alberto. I hope oh, but he's okay. really flaky in the morning. Yeah, yeah. He's getting old and he doesn't uh -oh. get up. So. Um, as well as he used he's, to. He, he's on Mexico time. Yes, he is. Is it? You know, Alberto doesn't like when he's sick. He doesn't shower. Like so, he can be sick for a week or two weeks and he won't shower. That's the Hispanic community. Yeah, they won't shower. Did you know that? Because they feel it. It'll and bring he, on more he straight up reeks, man, when he comes into my store sometimes. So, but we love I, you, Alberto. <laughs> I've heard that Steve Jobs never showered. Really? Until like 82 or 83. Well, he was mm. too busy. He, he was a hippie. 
he kept like seeds and beans in his pocket. Yeah, so he it, he had some belief about health stuff too. Mm -hmm. That's why I bring it up. Yeah. I don't know. It's a it's just a weird guy slash Latin thing or something. So. Guy slash Latin thing. <laughs> yeah, Steve Jobs. You heard it here first. Is Latin. <laughs> and he's a guy S slash Latin, right? So, um, so Bill, you you've owned several businesses. You've been in the restaurant business Correct. before. Um, and what else have you done? That's it. Restaurant and pawn. <laughs> Restaurant and pawn. Your whole life. Yeah. Um, it's time to find something new. How? Uh, Maybe I'll become a professional babysitter. <laughs> you, you're, you're good so at, good it. at it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to patent that shrink wrap yeah. idea. <laughs> that was awesome, by the way. I, I wish they would have just stayed over there. I did so. that with my children. Um, That's why they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you? Do you? Uh, I mean, do you still enjoy what you do? I do. The day to day, day to day grind. Some days it's a little, a little tedious, a little monotonous, but I think that happens with any business. You know, being a one man operation, I have to be a self motivator. And you, if uh, you don't have any sick days, in other words. Exactly. No, you can't call in sick. No. Who would I call myself? I don't know. I'm going to be sick. Hey, do you I'm have? Sick I mean, today. do you ever get a break? You call? I mean, do you have somebody that fills in for you? Once in a while, I do. Oh, okay. Um. Alberto comes up sometimes, and yeah, he'll come up when he's, when he's not sick. Pisses all your customers off. Well, a few of them. <laughs> you know, I Alberto, we love Alberto. Alberto a as a long time. Um, it, we kind of we kind of share him. A I knew bit. Alberto before I even opened the pawn shop. Yeah, Alberto actually worked with Troy at one time. Yeah. Anyway, he he works down at my shop. He works up here sometimes. He kind of roams around, but he is. Um, He's an interesting. He's from Mazatlan, Mexico, and he is a U.S. citizen. And he's been here a while. Dual citizenship. Dual citizenship. Yep, absolutely. He, uh, he. We love Alberto, but man, I tell you what, his customer service is sometimes not something to be desired. Yeah. So. <laughs> but you have to take in consideration the way that some customers will treat you and how they treat somebody else. Yeah. Somebody that's there. So, you know, you've 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 uh, I've worked with you, and you've always been um, you've always been very. I mean, you can look around at your stories. You've been you've been organized, but you've always been real good to the customers. How do you think that by you know with with your customer service and, and how you treat your customers, how has that benefited you in this business? Because it's sometimes it's a business where the people are. Not very understanding about either what they're going to get for their item, or um, either they lose their item, they right. weren't back in time. So, how has good customer service benefited you well, in good, this business? Good customer service keeps the customer coming back. Yeah. yeah. And no, nobody wants to come into a a pawn shop having to sell their items. I mean the. Financial distress. You've got single mothers that come in, have a ring, or they're getting a loan on an electronic to pay the power bill. Right. You know, and people like to be treated with respect. You know, I try to treat people the way that I would want to be treated. Yeah, absolutely. That's. Uh, I think that's that's. You don't that's... want to downgrade their item if, if you're not interested. Just tell them that you're not interested. Yeah. You don't want to tell them it's junk. And I can always get this item out of here. I can add to that. It, I, I try to when somebody comes in, I can't use their item. I always try to ask them, "Do you have anything else?" Try to, and a lot of times they do. A lot of times they have something else to bring. Yeah, out. I've seen you do that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's well. What about all the times that the guy would come in with the box of rocks and you'd send him up to bill at <laughs> City Pond? That was He's done that before. That that's. Uh, Man, that's just the love that I have that's for you. Right. Man. That is just the love that I have for you. So, here. I'm not interested in the rocks, but Bill may be. There you go. Okay, Bill, while we're trading off kids, can you read this? And he's like right pimping there. us out for his, like. I don't want to be tied <laughs> to anyone's strings. Perfect, thank you. He said, he read that. You read that much better than I did. Yeah, and I've well, got my little part that. for today's show. I, mean, I, need I to read, read it really first. quick. <laughs> and then read it. Here. Hey, come here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Well, you know what I thought we'd do? How much time do we have left? Uh, a couple of minutes. Okay. What I thought we'd do is uh, have a little 
little uh, pawn exercise, okay? Um, I don't have anything to write on, but maybe you could hold up a, go hold up a, a something in the store, Dennis, okay? and we can write down what you what we think we might pay for the item. Okay. okay. See how well you taught me, because you did teach me this business after That's all. That's right. So, all right. Um, I'm going to go wandering then. Oh, so. really quick, before I go, I need to read my part to my wife. I want somebody who cares for me passionately. That was that was great, dude. Thank you. Um, so does that mean you don't want your wife? <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying? What are we saying there, Dennis? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, well, do you remember the days when, when you started coming in? It was before we started using the internet. I don't know if but you wrote everything down. Well, See, you not only wrote everything down, but to determine a price or a value or what something sold for used, you went through catalogs and mm. you found the retail value. Mm. It was before eBay. That that is that, that. You know what? I wasn't in the pawn business before before that. I I, I think I was kind of right on the cusp of that. You were, how different was it? Oh, I mean, completely different. How how the is the internet how has the internet changed yeah, the a transaction deals? now that takes let's say a minute and a half back then took a good ten minutes. You know, the customer had to fill out a card, they had to fill out their address, they had to put in their height, birth date, the thumbprint. Now everything is just com computer generated. Yeah. You, know, you had to find a value, go through trade magazines, or you would have to call the manufacturer, ask where the item was purchased. Oh, look at this! I'm, I'm going to pimp one of my upcoming shows in the process. That, but. That's his. Uh, that's his. Uh, that's his trademark shot right there. Oh, so that's Fernandez. So you. So in that way, the internet is is changed the business for the better. How, how has it changed? Well, it it, it's not only changed it for the better, but once again, like you just said, for the worse. Because people can come into a shop and they can get on their smartphone, and they're finding prices. Right. So they know what the price should be. It it seems like it seems like the stuff that you used to see more often, you don't see as much now. For example, high end guitars. Right. Um, you know, a good Martin guitar or a good USA vintage Gibson Les Paul. Yeah, they're just not out. There. They're just not out there, and it's 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 uh, a situation where I think where people are a little bit more privy about privy to what things are, are worth. Um, well, it's not only what they're worth, but there's other avenues of selling, and they can put it on Craigslist. Yeah, that's true. They can put it on KSL. That is they true. They can put it on eBay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do this. Um, there's a little dust on that guitar. What yeah, guitar is that? It's actually not a guitar. It's a Fernandez. It's a, it's, it's a bass. It's a Fernandez Japanese bass. Okay. Um, if somebody brought that into my shop, I would probably give them... Um, 75 bucks. 75 to 100? Yeah. What do you think? I think that's a fair value. What do you have it priced at? Priced at 4.99. But actually, they've gone down in value. They're about three and a half. The bases are a little bit harder to sell. Very hard. Yeah, they sit in my. And that design—that's kind of an oddball design for the Fernandez. It's a pretty guitar. And once again, they're they're a Japanese base. Have quite a calling. A lot of the rock stars play them. All right, what do you got next for us, dude? A rigid um, screw gun. A cabled screw gun. Um, you know, that's an item. You can try to put one in my forehead there. Uh, that is an item that is a little bit difficult to sell for me. Um, I might give somebody twenty-five bucks for that. Yeah. So twenty-five dollars would be very generous. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with that, that item is it, it's not the gun itself. It's the screws. The screws are very expensive. Yep. Versus just doing it with a. A regular screw yeah, gun. So. Just two items, Dennis. I've got a small yeah. market. Not a lot of guys use them. Um, pull out a gun. There you go. There you go, cowboy. Yeah, you look go bad. Up. You look bad A with that, dude. <laughs> and new trademarks. So who who yeah. makes that gun? That's actually a partner. Partner. Yeah, yeah I'm familiar with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably. 
I would give somebody because it, it's it's more of a home defense gun, and that's those are sellers. Right. Um, I would probably give somebody on that gun eighty bucks. Eighty to one hundred. Yeah. 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 Dude, you taught me well, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you taught me well. <laughs> and we get laptops all the time. But laptops are. I mean, you used to be able to sell these things. Of course, Dennis takes all my laptops now. Yeah, don't you don't have any laptops. I don't. Left. I don't. I don't get a chance. Speaking to. of which, well, how, many, how many back? laptops are here? It? One, two. There's three, three here. Okay. Three here. Plus, this is a. Uh, just. And you got that for me too. Yeah, I got yeah, this. That works well. Yeah. So sitting in this room right now, I've got a um, Chromebook, Windows 8 right here, this machine, and the one on the floor which refused to work. Actually, I've got four here. This one is new. I've never hooked it up before, so it was giving me some issues. So have you ever and panned the camera so that anybody that's viewing this can see what you do to bring them the show? Uh, no, I have not done that before. Because I thought that it was quite possibly just one camera and yeah, maybe no. a microphone. That's it. And then it was streamed. Much more than that. It's no, when you more. start, when we started doing these right shows, back. it was much less. Yes. Uh, it was much less, so... I've constantly built. And speaking of building, I want to pimp my I want to pimp my show. Bandwidth. Bandwidth started because of your show last week. Yes, we had Riley on. Riley McDonald yes. on last week's show, playing some guitars. We got to talking. Kirk Sherrod came up with the name for Bandwidth. Um, while we were talking about the idea of doing an underground music show. Mm -hmm. Christine DeGraff has Such now jumped in. Such a good idea. In. Such a good idea. Yeah, Christine DeGraff has jumped in, and so the show is running on her channel, my, uh, or her page, My Music um, Hangout. Um, and the show, the first show is a week from today at 6 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, live from Lumpy's. We're going to have the band Advent Horizon, which is Riley's band, is going to be the opening act for the weekly series. And what a talent Riley is. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. He's got a great voice, and he is uh, a, a great musician. And yeah. I think I, I, I'm I, looking forward to that, Dennis. I really am. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm looking it's gonna forward It's going to be fun. You're going to be live in the audience, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, so. it's, we're going to have an absolutely crazy great time. I mean, first show, you know, we'll have four, four or five cameras. And slowly over time, we're going to get better ones. How's that um, going to work with How's that going to work with with the sound? I, I mean, when Riley was in the the store playing the guitar, it seemed like we had to kind of mess with the sound a little bit. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing, uh, as far as the sound for this show is, and that's why we picked a nightclub that does live music as our location to run the show from, because they've got all the mixing boards and the equipment. So we're going to run all the sound into a mixing board, mix it, and bring it into a single laptop. Oh, perfect. So perfect. there will be one laptop. In order to maximize the quality of the sound, one laptop is going to do nothing but be dedicated to sound. So it's all, so it's just going to be a little bit, you're going a step further with it. Yep. And then the other the other channels uh, will you know have various cameras. Um, and we're talking with Lumpy's about actually setting up permanent cameras and permanent lighting if the few sh first few shows go well. So please show up, make this a big deal for us, because man, it it could go, it's, it's, it could get off the hook if Lumpy's was to come in and. Well, you have a you have a sponsor right off the bat, and and uh, yep, be, that would be be outstanding. Uh, the music I think is going to be outstanding. I mean, I haven't heard that I haven't heard them play. But if it's anything like what Riley was playing in my store last week, it should be great. So yeah, yeah, it is. It is going to be an absolute blast. Fun. Speaking of music, next week's guest is going to be uh, a guy that I met on Google Plus. Uh, he's going to take us in. He's I think he's uh, out of South Carolina. Okay. Anyway, he is going to be taking us into his studio uh, to show us what he does. He's a he's a musician, uh, uh, recording artist. And so he, a great guitarist. Anyway, we're gonna have him live on the show, telling us about what he does, playing a little bit for us. Good should deal. be should be fun. Should be fun. So that'll um, be good stuff. We'll, we'll have that set up for you next week. So don't miss, and I won't miss either. It'll it'll really actually happen on Monday. <laughs> and by the way, my store's just fine. 
nobody broke into my store. They just broke the window. They just broke the window. They just wanted to be jerks and broke the window. So um, we're getting that taken care of. So everybody that that stuck with us and 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 just because we missed yesterday, stuck with us and and came came to see the show today. Thank you. Appreciate that. So have a good day. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks, Convoys. Bill, for joining us and yes. having us up at your store. And uh, <laughs> don't act too excited over there. We appreciate his hospitality. Great store, Bill. Uh, if anybody wants to come see his store, he is on 900 East and 7214 South. 7214 South here in Midvale, and uh, he runs a great shop. And ooh, look at that. man, lost it. I've never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's first time. <laughs> Matt, he does magic too. So if you wanted to come up here and see magic, he does he magic too. So um, disappearing act. All right. Thanks, guys.